everybody. I'm here doing a boss mom interview with Maria, fantastic owner of Dipped in Dazzling Apples. I always want to call you by your Instagram name, just be like, oh, yeah. apples. But sure. Dipped in Dazzling Apples, um, they will make your mouth water just looking at them. Thank you. Like I was telling a uh, yeah. girlfriend the other night, I posted a picture of one of your cheesecake apples, and I was like, oh my God. Like, this is not just an apple. <laughs> this is not an apple. But the apple makes you feel like it might be healthy. Right? An <laughs> apple a day keeps the doctor away. Exactly. Just, you might as well eat it your way. Yeah. Hey, I think I just found my new snack. <laughs> <laughs> An apple a day keeps the doctor away. Just eat it your way. Yeah. Oh my God. I like Thanks, it. Emily. <laughs> so I wanted to ask Maria a couple questions. She has four wonderful children, manages a business, a household, and just like blows my mind how you find time to sleep and function and build a business. So how did you get into the apple market? Because it's not a common dessert <laughs> thing. <laughs> so, well, it's actually really simple. So I was pregnant at work and uh, they started doing carnivals. So carnival themes. So our our unit was in charge of throwing a carnival. So we were just like, okay, well, what kind of foods? And obviously, you think of carnivals, you think candy apples. Yep. So then um, nobody would take it upon themselves to try to make it. So I said, okay, fine, I'll try. I'll do it. And when I did it, I'm not going to lie, I was having a hard time because there's like little tricks you need to do before you dip the apple. Yep. So I did it kind of my way and then it just... And obviously it's turned out. It blew from there. Once people tried it, people started talking. Where did you buy them? And I said, well, I made them. <laughs> like, no, no, it's a good thing. So, and it just blew from there. Well, and it's so, like I said, it blows my mind how creative you get with these apples. So how many years ago was that that you started this? It's not even a year. It was June. I was pregnant with the monkey in the back. And uh, yeah, my husband actually says every time I get pregnant, I think of some sort of business. <laughs> You're gonna I, take on. <laughs> the first pregnancy, I started party planning. The second pregnancy, I got into a health and wellness um, direct sales. sales. Yep. And this pregnancy, I started with the uh, DD apples. Towards the end of the oh. pregnancy. Usually I start earlier, but <laughs> this time it was... Because then, you know, you've got lots of free time on your hands after Always. you give birth. Like, I don't know what it is. other kids running around. We just... I, I think it's common. We just... Yeah. I don't think we actually want to take the time to sit and do nothing. No, you need to keep yourself stimulated somehow and have a somehow. connection to the real world. Yeah. Yeah, and that's what I did. And this time it, uh, yeah, it was actually something that turned out to be fun. Yep. Well, and I, like, in some of the conversations we had, I love some of the things that, like, it's a really neat idea for kids' birthday parties because, mm -hmm. you you know, you've got cake, you've got allergies, you've got this, you've got that, you've got loot bags filled with garbage that nobody wants to take home. Yeah. Why not give an apple? Yeah. No, it's actually, sorry, it, it mm -hmm. actually has become a replacement to just that loot bag with the yep. little toys that they're just going to throw anyways. And they get to, you know, make creative themes. So I've done unicorns, I've done Batman, I've done Mickey Mouse, Minnie Mouse. So it's actually like like an enhancement to like their decor too yep. sometimes. So parents really love it, kids love it. And like we said, it's like sort of a healthy treat. Yeah. <laughs> A little less mom guilt when you've sneaked the apple in there. <laughs> yeah, it's just a bit of chocolate. Well, chocolate's but a dairy product. You've there got, you go. Getting, you're hitting multiple food groups. And candy, well, yeah, it just adds a little bit of fun. It's a birthday. Why not? Yeah. Um, now, one of the things that I really like to ask everyone is what's your best advice for another mom that's trying to build their own business and manage it all and kind of juggle, find that quote-unquote balance? between work and home life? Um, I guess it helps if your significant other, if you're in a relationship, supports you, like yep. a give and take balance, because that really helps me. If he works overtime, he works during the day, he'll give me the two, three days a week for me to, you know, attack my, my orders. Um, that, to me, is important. And the other thing, which I have to do every day, is don't stop. Don't give yep. up. Like, keep telling yourself that 
if you want to give up then that's your hurdle and once you're over it then you're just gonna be like smooth sailing until the next time you feel like you want to get up <laughs> you know it's it just don't stop like I could have given up so many times saying oh what the heck am I doing I could be sitting with my you know baby or with the kids or sleeping <laughs> but you're doing this for a reason never yeah. forget your why um, one thing that's really helped me is that I've actually done a vision board. Oh, very cool. So it's, I actually encourage a lot of women to do that is what do you want? Why are you doing what you're doing? And then you just take out clippings of things and you have a vision board and every day you look at it and that just kind of motivates you to keep to, doing. To beat those hurdles. Yeah. And then every every year your vision board should change because yep. you may have accomplished some you wanted Disneyland let's say you've taken the kids to Disneyland you've accomplished that so yep. then so what's next exactly it's really fun as you know some moms to do to get together yep. and then for you to just have like that visual reminder of like you said your why yeah, exactly no very cool yeah. Thank you very much. You're I'm welcome. so happy we finally made this work. Yes. Because we've been Whoa. talking for, I don't know how long now. Yeah, um, uh, it's wool and mouth and everything. <laughs> um, honest to God, if you are looking for, like I said, that treat without <laughs> quite as much guilt attached to it, check out her apples because even just the look of them will make your mouth water. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. So sweet. Thank you and have a good day. All right.